Could you imagine a virtual in you? The next speaker will be the one who introduces you a virtual in you. Imagine a virtual in you where we could talk, where we could have the TED Talks virtually. And now I would like to invite to the stage Scott Overmeyer. Hi everybody. I'd like to share with you a little bit about what we've been doing to try and create an environment that is available around the world. That is a social media that allows you to chat, allows you to create a virtual representation of yourself as an NU student, allows you to interact with people, and not only that, but this environment will be persistent. That is, long after you leave Nazarbayev University and go out for your careers, your avatar can still be here, and if you work it right, your avatar can represent you by itself on its own to your friends so they don't even know whether you're there or whether the avatar is there. Anyway, I'm going to talk about uh, synthetic communities of practice uh, in virtual Nazarbayev University. You can see on the slide that virtual Nazarbayev University exists now and it's ready to go and ready to be used. It was developed by a number of my students in SST on a small startup grant that we had and uh, I am very much appreciative to them for uh, making this happen. So let's first just define what is a community of practice? Well, a community of practice is a group of people who share kind of some kind of community and some kind of practice. That's a no-brainer, right? So it could be a family. What is the community? The community is the family. What is the practice? The practice is life. You have people, older people in the family who have a lot of experience. They can help younger people in the family who don't know so much get through life. This is a community of practice in a way. The way we talk about communities of practice, though, is communities of students and communities of practitioners for us in information science or information technology or computer science or software engineering. That's what we're focusing on. But virtual and you is for everyone. You can all use it and form your own communities of practice. So communities of practice are literally everywhere. So what's this notion of a synthetic community of practice? Well, it's kind of a new concept. That's where the new part comes in. The synthetic community of practice is instead of a group of people, we have one person. And then we have a whole bunch of other people who are represented by artificial intelligence. And so these bots, they can talk, they're conversational, they can do things, they have knowledge, and they can help the person, the real person, learn about some community of practice in whatever subject that you happen to be interested in. And these bots can be kept up to date, they can talk to you in a conversational way, and even when your education is through and when you leave Nazarbayev University, you will be able to still access these bots. You will still be able to refresh your knowledge, have conversations and update it, not only with the artificial intelligence or the avatars, but also with your friends who can also participate in these along with the bots. Now, there are lots of intelligent agents that are possible to use today. Uh, in games, we, they're called NPCs, or non-player characters. So in World of Warcraft, you have monsters and different characters in World of Warcraft that you can interact with, and you can fight with, and you can defeat them, or if they kill you, you can come back, and all this kind of thing. Well, we have the same type of thing in Virtual NU. In AI, they're called bots. In 3D worlds, they're called intelligent avatars. What's that mean? Well, it's all the same thing. These are characters in the virtual world that have intelligence with whom you can interact and, uh, and who can store knowledge for you. Okay, otherwise, the synthetic community is just the same as a real community of practice. So what we're trying to do with this community of practice is unleash, unleash the creative potential of students. We want to allow you to interact with real world situations in the virtual world so that when you get out into the real world, you'll be prepared for any practical situation that you might encounter. We're trying to use this for new ways of teaching and learning. 
Maybe we'll hold classes in the virtual world. Maybe you'll have colleagues from around the world who want to meet with you and hold class in the virtual world, maybe even in the School of Science and Technology, who knows. And more than that, it's available 24-7, and these bots and this environment can preserve the knowledge for posterity. So basically, in the virtual world, you could live forever. How are we trying to do it? Well, we're combining artificial intelligence, we're combining social networking, we're combining uh, computer technology, and we're putting it all into virtual Nazarbayev University. And so what we do is we engage students through virtual NU in real world problem solving situations that help you learn how to solve real world problems so that when you get out, you'll be able to do it for real. We teach students to collaborate. That's a big part of uh, communities of practice is collaboration. And we are trying to make sure that we understand how these communities of practice form. So that's our idea so far, and that's how we're trying to do it. So I'm going to ask you this question. Do you want to be a part of virtual NU or a community of practice in virtual NU? If you do, there's my email address. Send me an email. I'll make sure you have an account. You can start interacting with each other and with our bots tomorrow. Thank you very much.